think his name is Phelps. He brought in that case for that poor lady killed near City Hall. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than staying in the garage makes you a car. This guy Advice? Jesus, Cole, what's wrong with a good old fashioned black and white? Stop that fuss. There ain't nobody here but us. We chickens trying to sleep. And you but get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You'd better come and get me. <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> There's a little sneak. That's him in the back, Cole. That cherry pie was delish. Uh, waitress, could I get another spoon? Food wasn't great, but you're real nice. Say, could I borrow some of that mascara? What do you think? Take a seat with Freddy, Cole. I'll do all the talking. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, yeah. right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. But be careful. He likes guns. Now, do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Tell the cook these were some good grits. Thanks for the 20. I'm out of here. You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. If you don't mind, you boys standing around looking mean is affecting my business. Believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score.
Call for help. I'll try and find a way in. Worse than a war zone. you politely to move on next time I won't be so nice you guys don't have to leave a mess what happened dope peddler Juan Cruz you open fire and well the rest of the story tells itself catch all the good ones Phelps Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Find anything interesting? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, detective. Only one address listed, 6310 Fountain Avenue. Thanks for your help. Doesn't tell me anything. guys keeping one so well stocked with soup.
not much help. Circumstantial. Come on, Roy. Do your job, I'll do mine. Ha! Phelps, you jump like a girl. Now we're getting somewhere. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? You hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Dead. We need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. I need to get back to it, Phelps. Find anything interesting? All these cops, it's gotta be something big, right? This is a secure area. You all need to leave. Crother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Christ alive, this is a nightmare! It makes short work of dirt and cooking grime. Just the swish of the dish rag gets them sparkling clean. Try it. 
Wow, these pots sure are clean. See? You'll be whistling too with how easy it is to clean up after dinner with Love & Wash. Lazy old-fashioned soaps require scrubbing and elbow grease. Lemon Wash cuts grease and tips it right down the drain. And since Lemon Wash removes spots from... The story of a roaring mighty town, and the gal who really knew her way around. They still talk of that event, cause the way she came and went, she took the town and turned it upside down. With the red silk stocking and the green perfume. She blew into this man's town with a silver thing. Not a care in the world. Never was any trouble. Do that again and I'll bust your chops. KTI Los Angeles, Eugene C. Windle Incorporated, broadcasting since 1922. We go now to National News here on KTI. becomes a peacetime pyrotechnic display. KTI is a member of the American Century Broadcasting Network. Are you crazy?
Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over-seasoning the soup in this place. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. I'm sorry, I'm just the receptionist here. What is I going think... on? LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Any name on that list that rings a bell? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in the aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. <laughs> 